Hello and welcome to this video. A special welcome to those who are new to the channel. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe the channel so that you can watch uh, the upcoming videos. Make sure you press the bell icon so that you can be notified to new uploads and uh, we can interact and see what more we can do together. So in my previous video, we discussed the algorithm for heap implementation and we implemented the max heap. So if you don't know how heap, uh, max heap or min heap works, I will strongly recommend to go to the previous video and watch it. It is in the playlist. So if you don't know the exact algorithm, then uh, it will not be discussed in this video. We will just discuss the implementation side of it. For the theory, I will recommend you to go to watch the previous video. So without further ado, let's get started. So as always, I have split the program into three parts. One is the header file minheap.h, which contains the inclusion of our header files stdr.h, stdlibrary.h and limits.h. We have declared a minheap uh, structure, which is type def to heap which contains three things, the int pointer p, which will be allocated to contain all the elements of the heap size, which is the size of this pointer p, an integer and the count, how many elements have been put into heap. We will be putting integer elements because that is our type of the array, uh, this pointer array. If you want to push characters, you can push, you can make it care, but whatever type you put, you have to have a comparison function for that so that they can be compared in the heap for heap up and heap down uh, functions to work. The functions are create heap, heap down to push an element down and heap up to push an element up, push to put one element at its appropriate position, pop is to get the top of the mm, heap, uh, remove that is remove that root element and top is to just get the top element without removing it. The main function creates the heap and pushes values to it. It is the driver program. It includes minheap.h. So it pushes 10, 3, 2, 8, 11, minus 5, 1 and 7 and then pops several times and gets the top element. So it gets the top here and gets the top here. We pop again and we get the top pop and get the top so let's look at the exact algorithm so there are two uh, operations which are important one is a pop operation another is a push operation we will first look at the push operation so before that we should look at the create heap create heap allocates memory for the heap that is the pointer p size and count size and count are initialized to 1 and 0 respectively the p pointer is allocated to for one element because heap size at this moment is 1 so it can contain one node right now so let's look at the push function so to i'll create uh, not create a new file i'll just put it here so in the beginning count is 0 size is 1 and we have space for one element and then let's go through this function so initially we have pushed for example 10 so 10 can go in there so what we first do is we check if count is greater than heap size if this is the case then we return but that is not the case okay now we take heap p that is the base pointer count that is this uh, position and we put x there so x is the value which is being passed so 10 comes here count is increased so it is 1 now it will check if 4 into heap count that is 4 is greater than or equal to 3 into heap size so once the count reaches 3 fourths of heap size we double the allocation and we reallocate this so at this moment we have size 2 and we have reallocated so we have space for two elements 
now we call heap up with heap up we pass count minus one so it is zero now so it will go to heap up it will see parent zero minus one index is zero is by two that is minus one by two parent is less than zero it will return now let's say we push another element uh, the next element is three so three comes in it goes to again it is checked that heap count is greater than or equal to size or not that is not the case so we proceed it takes the p plus count so that points to this location and puts three there now heap count is now increased so count becomes two it checks for three fourths of the size four into two is greater than or equal to three into two so it allocates for size into two uh, objects so size becomes four and that many elements are located that is we have these many spaces now four places are there we can have four now count is two so it sends two minus one here that is one so here it will come it will become one minus one by zero that is zero zero is not less than zero so it will return now it will check that the index index is zero for our case that is tenth element is less than three this is the parent of that okay because uh, sorry index was 2 minus 1 so 1 element this is 3 okay and parent is 10 because parent is uh, 1 minus 1 by 2 that is 0 h so parent is 10 so it will check it sees that 3 is less than 10 so this is effectively just a swap so 3 and 10 are swap and then it will call, call heap comma parent again now parent is zero it goes in it returns because parent has become less than zero so essentially the element will be pushed up if it is less than parent element that is the key part you can understand from this and the parents index comes from the current index of the child from the logic we have explained for zero based indexing so we see that heap up will work if you want you can push another element and trace this again okay so we stop the push functions here and we now look at pop function so at this moment our heap is let's say count let's say how count will increase so now it will see that 2 into 4 is 8 is greater than 12 into uh, 3 into 4 12 okay so so 12 is uh, greater than 4 into 2 okay so this is false it won't enter here it will allocate another element then count will become 3 and it will see that 4 into 3 is equal to 3 into 4 so again allocation will not happen so two more elements will be inserted then it will be uh, allocated again so next time is space that is the size will become eight so let's suppose we are now trying to pop and uh, we have say eight spaces here we have count is equal to eight and size is equal to let's for the sake of argument let's say it is eight okay and the nodes we can have 10 3 2 8 so 3 will be here 10 will be here 2 if we push here so 3 will be here then 8 will be here and so on okay so let's see if this works for uh, pop so first count is decreased so count becomes 7 and then we copy that temporary and swap it with the head okay so this is the count heap p so this will be our temporary okay and at this location 2 is copied that is the heap p pointer and then at heap p temp will be copied so 8 will come here and 2 will go here so as i said in previous video when we pop 2 is not necessarily removed from the array 
the count controls up to what value we can go okay so since count is decreased uh, count will become sorry three it would be four and then it will become three so the count will control that how many elements are part of the heap two is not part of the heap because count is now three so now it will call heap down so let's take this and go to heap down function so like yesterday i explained it will behave in a similar way so uh, let's see what is pushed here uh, what is sent here it is sent heap and zero so heap down will receive the root element and index as zero so is index greater than heap count no our heap count is three and index is zero so it will make left one left will be one and right will be two that is the formula for both the children okay and minimum will be the root element here then it will like yesterday this whole logic will flow i have explained this logic in previous video so i will recommend that you go there and see how this logic works and you can try to fit this by going through the lines one by one to try and understand <coughs> excuse me so you go through these and it works because i have explained this yesterday the only difference is this minimum is now greater yesterday it was maximum less than today it is minimum greater than rest of the logic remains same so let's see this in action so we run this i will compile this again for you and then we run this so we pushed 10, 3, 2, 8, 11, minus 5. So minus 5 should be at top. So top element is 5. Now we push 1 and 7. So after minus 5, 1 will be smallest. So when it is popped, minus 5 has come in. When it is popped again, 1 came. When it is popped again, 2 came. So you see that the root element is the minimum of the heap. So I'll end this video here. And I hope that you have found this video useful and informative. Please like the video and share it on social media as much as you can. Make use of the comment box to speak your mind so that I can interact with you and we can proceed together in this journey of data structure and algorithms. Note that once we study classic data structure and algorithms, we will go and do competitive programming problems. This playlist will probably never end as long as i'm alive i will continue this playlist okay so we will be exploring lots of problems as much as time allows me i will discuss a lot of problems once we finish the basics of data structures i will start doing problems thanks a lot for watching happy programming